The world today is more secure than ever before in, in the history. We have social securities, we have uh, continuously better products that make our life safer and more secure, whether we are traveling with cars, with trains, with airplanes, or whether we are living at home. Despite of that increased security, or probably just because of that, fear is, is growing. We are living in a generation or in a, in a, in a, in a time where there are more fears than, than in the time before. One reason for that is that it is very difficult today to distinguish between real risks, such that are really threatening us, and those that are just made up or maybe that are not really existing. We could talk of, of, of risks of fiction. For example, um, the threat of anthrax in 2001, the terror attacks, they were not never really a real threat to the, to the population in the US. Nevertheless, it has been a huge subject. There have been studies analyzing potential threats in the media. For example, with, um, with, uh, with uh, epidemics such as uh, bird, bird's disease. Uh, one could show that there was a huge attention in the media. Uh, of course, there, are, there, were, there were several hundred people that have been dying from it, so it was a, it was a real risk. But compared to other risks, for, it, for example, the attack of, of, of killer bees or car crashes, where thousands of people, for example, die, that are not mentioned in the media, there is a, a, not a direct correlation. So it is very difficult for an individual and even for a society to, st to distinguish which threats are real and which ones are fiction. The main goal, I think, for our society, and this includes politicians, it includes schools and of course parents and also, and also companies, is to find ways on uh, how to show people which ones are the real risks, where we really should focus. And most of all, rather focus on chances uh, than on challenges and risks. A society that is bound to fear will never be able to change, it will never be able to go forward. And so I would say that the fear of fear is one of the major challenges we are actually facing.